In these problems, we are given the slope and the y-intercept, or in the case of number 5, the x-intercept of a line, and we're asked to find the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line, and b is the y-intercept of the line. That means where the graph crosses the y-axis. So in number one, we're almost done. <laughs> There's not much work to do. This is m, and this is b, the y-intercept. So it says write an equation in slope-intercept form. So it's just y equals 2x plus 5, and we're done. That's the answer for number 1. Very similar for number 3. y equals, m is given to us, negative 1 half, and b is given to us as 7. So that's the answer for number 3. Number 5 is a little bit more work, but not that much. We are given the x-intercept. That means where the graph crosses the x-axis. So where the graph crosses the x-axis, the y value is 0. So that means we have a point 4, 0 on this line. So what we're going to do is we're going to put 4 for x, and 0 for y in y equals mx plus b. And we have m. m is 1 half. We're going to solve for b. So y is 0. m is 1 half. When y is 0, x is 4. This is just one particular point on our line. Okay. 4 times 1 half, this is like 4 over 1, so 4 times 1 half reduces to 2, so 0 equals 2 plus b. We're going to get b by itself, so we have to subtract 2 from both sides, so b is equal to negative 2. So the equation of the line, now that we have b in y-intercept form, is y equals m, which is 1 half, x plus b, which is negative 2. So there's the answer for number. Answer for number.